Hi everyone, Dave from BC Hydro here. Today, we're talking fridges and freezers. Both appliances can use a lot of energy, but I'm gonna help you minimize your consumption with a few cool tricks. The first thing I wanna show you is one of my favorite parts of a refrigerator. That's the gasket, the seal here. If you don't have a tightly sealed gasket, cold air is gonna escape. It's gonna make your refrigerator a lot less efficient because the motor has to work harder to keep everything cool. But fear not. There's a simple way we can test our gasket using a piece of paper. We open the fridge door and close it again. If your gasket's all good, you're gonna feel some resistance there. If you don't, it might be time to call your gasket guy. One of the key things you can do with your fridge and freezer is make sure it's set at the proper temperature. I always carry around a fridge thermometer. They're great at parties, a nice icebreaker. We just pop this in towards the back of your fridge. Now you're gonna to wanna to leave it there for about 15 minutes to get an accurate reading. The ideal temperature for your refrigerator is between two and four degrees Celsius or 35 to 38 Fahrenheit. And for your freezer, that's between minus 15 and minus 18 degrees Celsius. Now, once I take my thermometer out, if my fridge isn't reading at that temperature, I can make an adjustment. Just note it will take about 24 hours for the fridge to adjust and you'll get another accurate reading on your thermometer. If your fridge is kind of empty, you can throw a couple of jugs of full water in there. It's gonna help your fridge operate more efficiently more cool items helps keep everything cool. Boom! We've got our fridge and our freezer operating more efficiently. We're saving energy. We're creating memories. Thanks for watching.